Vodafone India has written to the Egom Empowered Group of Ministers for a reasonable reserve price. Nadia joins us with more details from uh, Delhi. Nadia? Well, yes, that's right. Vodafone has written to the members of the telecom uh, e-com on spectrum. Rather, they say now Vodafone says that the uh, that the pricing that has been done for the 1800 megahertz is uh, on the higher side. Even the one that was uh, recommended by TRAI is on the higher side, whereas DOT has gone ahead and increased it even further. Now, Vodafone says that if the e-com plans to increase it even more than what it is now, it will have a negative impact on the upcoming auctions. Now. Also, it talks about the 900 megahertz band, the extension of 900 megahertz band's license is a very contentious issue there. Now, Vodafone says that they should be given an extension of another 20 years. There should be a price taken uh, from the incumbent players for the 900 megahertz band, but it should not be taken away from them as they have invested hugely uh, to uh, to function uh, in the 900 megahertz band. So it should, uh, uh, companies like Vodafone incumbent players should be given an extension for the 900 megahertz band. Now also another contentious issue of spectrum user charge has also been pointed out in the letter uh, to the EGOM members by Vodafone. Now Vodafone says that the spectrum user charge, the recommendation given by TRAI on spectrum user charge, where TRAI said that there should be a uniform spectrum user charge for all the bands, which will, uh, which will avoid any arbitrage that can happen between the bands that is uh, a, recomm a recommendation that is very good for the industry this is what uh, Vodafone feels and this is what Vodafone urges uh, Egom to look into and to decide on it as it will help the industry revive uh, in a much much better way so this is what they ask from uh, Egom to decide on these very very important issues which is spectrum uh, user charge which is also pricing for the 1800 megahertz band and they they also hope that all these decisions will come before actually the auction takes place so that they can strategize accordingly for the upcoming auctions.